We are here with Caverna's new Colonel's coach, Hoops coach, Steve Barker. Coach Barker, uh, how did you come about the job here at Caverna? Well, I've always heard about Caverna and, and the rich tradition in basketball that they've had here. I've got several friends, one of them, Tim Riley, who's the uh, who started his coaching career here and is currently the head coach at Orangeboro Catholic. So when this job opened up, Tim reached out and said, hey, uh, you ought to take a look at Caverna High School. And I said, well, I've heard about it and uh, heard a lot of good things about it. And so I uh, chose to uh, apply and uh, was lucky enough to get the job. And I'm real excited about the possibilities of having a good team this year. You were at Greenup the last couple of years, way over in Eastern Kentucky. So was this job also an opportunity to kind of get back to your it, native stomping ground? Yes, growing up in Owensboro, um, it was, uh, you know, just an opportunity. I, I had a chance to, to coach in Region 16 for two years and, and got a chance to see what it was like in Eastern Kentucky. And But Western Kentucky's my home. I grew up and played at Apollo High School and just wanted to get back to Western Kentucky. And this is certainly Western Kentucky. Right. Uh, now, your background, you, were, you coached at Apollo for six years. Is that right? That's correct. And then 2018, we were fortunate enough to win Region 3 and got a chance to play in Rupp Arena. Now that was a great experience. And then before that, I was at McLean County and we um, we won the All-A, uh, Region 3 All-A, and uh, took our team to the state tournament, which was at that time was in at the Frankfurt Coliseum in Frankfurt, Kentucky. And now, since then, it's been moved to EKU in Richmond. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's one of our goals here this year is, is to get to the All-A state tournament. Now, you mentioned Coach uh, Riley said maybe you should look at this position, and he, I mean, he's hes in this area. He knows what kind of talent's coming up here. Uh, did you, like, get a chance to kind of do some scouting in terms of looking at film and meet, you know, getting to talk to people before you applied for the job even? Yes, I did. Um, I always like to do my background work, and I, I saw film on them from last year. There's a lot of potential, and they're extremely young. Uh, the, the young man, Meek Adder, the um, – the African kid, he is a great kid, a great prospect. I think he's got Division One uh, potential, and uh, I'm certainly excited about uh, getting, you know, becoming the new head coach here and having to work with that young man among the other really young players that have a lot of potential. Yeah, I think they uh, started an eighth grader and maybe a couple of freshmen last year. Uh, when you look at that, I mean, when you, what is the benefit of the youth? the size of the future? Well, just the simple fact that I get them when they're young and they learn the system and then they get to play in it two, three, four years in some cases. And uh, that that only shows hope in the future just for the simple fact that they're in the system for so long. What kind of system do you like to run? Well, we, with this group, we're going to be able to get up and down and, and try to score you know, a bunch of points through our press and uh, um, just their athleticism uh, is going to enable us to um, to be more up tempo, and I like that. And I think the kids like playing that way. Anything else you want folks to know about you or the program this coming year? Well, I'm a I'm an all in guy. I'm a 110 percent Caverna, and uh, I'm excited about the the opportunities. And there is a rich, rich area of basketball talent in this area. And I'm just excited working with the youth all the way up through the high school level. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you.